Hey everybody, welcome to Big Valley Living. We planted some tomato seedlings in early March and then a couple of days ago we came out and put them into the ground. And today we're going to be building some... We're going to be building trellises to help those bad boys when they get this tall. Stay tuned. Step two of this project is to clean these posts that we're going to use. These are seven foot posts that we picked up at uh, Tractor Supply. And we have already cleaned them all off on all three sides. And um, up near the top, there are some brackets that you see. Those are actually going to be driven into the ground. So we won't be priming and painting that. It would just really be a waste of time and effort. So we are getting ready to prime those, let them dry, and then we'll start applying color to them. It's really going to make the garden pop and we're super excited. Okay, so we've already uh, primed the posts and the next time you see us we'll be putting some pretty colors on there. Oh, it's starting to get pretty. Okay, we have applied our spray paint and we really like the way they look. We can't get them, wait to get them out into that garden. On the left, that yellow color is called summer squash and then there's magenta and then there's green apple and then there is seaside. And that is sure to brighten up those tomatoes. So I'm gonna, we're gonna take and use these T-posts. I have, I have other trellises that I put in with redwood posts and stuff, but they're pretty darn stationary. They're pretty permanent. Um, so I want to try a different way. And this is the way that we came up with. Uh, we took and painted these bad boys so that add a little bit of color out here. Maybe it'll even invite a bee or so to come in and pollinate stuff. So I'm going to take and put these in. Each one of these, you can see that they're kind of split up in between here. So that panel is going to go right in between them. A tomato will be on that side, and then on this side, and then on that side, and then on this side. Which will, I'm hoping to help with the airflow. So I'm going to drive these in the ground and we'll come back. So this is a T-post driver. There are fancy ones that have engines and stuff on them, so you know, you hit it and it drives it in but uh, I don't have that many if I lived on a farm and I had to do hundreds of them I would have that awesome thing but what you do is this is a seven foot t-post so you can see I'm gonna want to drive it till it's about this deep and you just uh, right to about there So this went pretty quick and took like five minutes to do this. So when we put these in, we marked on the, on the bed, um, each one's like three foot apart. So I already had those marks to be able to line these up. As you can tell in the middle, <laughs> the pink's a little bit lower because that's a little bit softer. So when I drove it in, it went a little lower, but it doesn't matter. So now we're gonna take and put the cattle panels on here. I have the clips and I'll show you how to use the tool that um, you use to put those on. So we'll get after this. We'll be done in probably 10 minutes.
So we're all, we're all done with all of these, but I didn't show you how to use these little T-post clips, which are totally awesome and it keeps it very sturdy. Um, for this, you just hook this side around it. So, oops. So the hook that goes this way, you hook here and then it goes around the T-post. Right. So then this little tool, it's, it's like 16 or 17 bucks. This is an awesome tool. So um, when you bring this around, this tool just goes right in between here and then it loops under and makes it all nice and tight. And bam, there you have it. And then if you do have enough, because this is kind of set up kind of weird, um, it also has this hole that you would put over this side. And if you don't have enough room to you know, use this tool as designed, um, just take a pair of pliers and bring this up under it just to make sure it's nice and tight. But I mean, that's, it's there and it's not going anywhere. So there you have it. Without the painting part, um, this took us like a half hour to put these up. So if you just wanted the green T post with the white tops on them, you could totally do this in like half hour. Um, but these, these will grow up. And as we do that, um, I use these little clips to, that I'm gonna use to keep them hold on to here. We'll go over that later. Uh, if you found something of value, if you like, share, subscribe, hit the bell, all that stuff we always do, that'd be awesome. And thanks for stopping by Big Valley Living and comment down below if you like this colorful edition. See you later, everybody.